Hi, it's Kiffin LeBates here, and this video is triggered uh, from uh, some discussions that I had with Andy Martin on incentivizing tokens and by going and looking at a couple of his posts. And if you're not looking at Andy Martin's posts, then I heartily recommend that you do because he's got a very interesting take on permission blockchains. But anyway, uh, that aside, uh, what it made me think about is the fact that we ostensibly live in a capitalist society here in the West where companies decide which companies they want to trade with most of the time and consumers vote on the uh, satisfaction they get from products with their wallets. So you are perfectly at liberty to decide one day that you're not happy with Coca-Cola and you would rather drink Freeway Cola instead. And if enough people do that, then it's bad news for the former company that I mentioned. Um, however, any of you who work in big companies will know that they tend to operate under a very Soviet-style uh, accounting system. The uh, people at the top set the budgets and the targets and the people underneath the middle managers try to work out how they're going to achieve their goals with the budgets that they're provided and there's a bit of debating and if you happen to have a good manager then maybe he'll get more money than you need and you can actually buy some toys. If you've got a bad manager you're all working overtime to try and uh, hit the targets. So hopefully I'm not the only one who sees the irony in this that these companies that on the outside are portraying this capitalist approach, this free market approach to business internally are being run under almost a communist, well not a communist system because personally I don't think the Soviet Union was communist, under a bureaucratic totalitarian system. So uh, that made me think about how could permissioned blockchains within an organization provide an incentivizing token such that your different departments can actually bid for work. Wouldn't that be interesting? You know, you're a test team in Finland, there's a test team over in San Francisco, and there's a product development team in Seattle, and they actually get to choose which test team they want to take on board. And as a result, you'd actually end up with some real internal competition. I'm not saying that would be wonderful, it might be hell, but it certainly would be an interesting alternative to the current way in which large bureaucratic companies work, which, as I said, is top-down management and uh, a hell of a lot of budgeting and accounting and not really actually taking into account the quality of the service that you receive at the end. So uh, let me know what you think of that. See you in the next video soon. Bye for now.